Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I have done several videos on these crosses that I give away, and here's my email, and I'll actually put it at the, uh, the link at the bottom of this video. Somebody contacted me that's gotten this cross, and this is a real fragile, so you'll get all of these crosses uh, when I send it to you. And somebody, so I'm gonna control G to group that together, I'm gonna hit P. Somebody needs to ship one, and I ship them all the time, but they are so fragile that they're gonna break. This is pretty thin, you know, if you make it out of eighth inch plywood, some of these joints and letters are really, really thin. It's really easy to make it. This is eighth inch plywood. If you will take you some quarter inch MDF, and I have this in the center of the page, I'm just gonna make a rectangle, and I'm gonna hit P, and then I'm gonna round it off one inch, and then take your smart fill tool and fill this in. There is your new cut line for your box, but it would be too tight. So what you need to do is we'll take this out of the way. We'll go up here and we'll go ahead and group and ungroup it. And then the, the boundary tool is gonna work and we're gonna nudge that out of the way. We need to contour it a little bit. So go to effects and contour Contour to the outside, like point one two five, and hit apply. Go up to object, break the contour apart, grab the outer one, which is bigger, go ahead and make it left, or right click and make sure it's a hairline and hit P. Move your other cross out of the, see I broke it apart, but that's no problem. We'll just go ahead and delete these two. So this is your new contour. So you hit P and hit P and put that in the center of the page. You might want to make it a little bit bigger in this direction and then hit P. And then just take your smart fill tool. That's really good enough. That will cut, but I always get in the habit of doing this and it makes it one unit and then left click, right click. And that is your new shipping container. And what I do is I uh, cover it with wax paper and then just take some uh, blue tape and tape down the corners and the Amazing Grace cross will float in there and the post office can't break it uh, because that quarter inch MDF is pretty tough and just kind of put some tape around it and uh, put it in some sort of envelope and send it on. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.